Okay, happy Tuesday, you guys. We are super excited to come and hang out with you. Um, there's been so many incredible new announcements today with corporate. And so we're gonna kind of cover that too. So I'm really excited that we already had this team call planned because it goes right along with this promo that just got thrown out. Like seriously, heaven sent that we're already planned here. We're not trying to keep or like catch up with everything. But first of all, thank you guys for joining in on this team call. I swear to you, even though there's, you know, uh, what do I want to say? Calls are not income producing activities, but I do think that if you can plug in and stay connected to the team, whether it's this large team or corporate or any t or your direct uplines team, honestly, I feel like it makes a world difference in your business and being able to stay connected and stay motivated and moving um, with along with the team and setting those goals. So I'm super excited to see your guys' faces here. Here in a second, I'm going to um, also kind of span and like so that I can actually see your faces and not just my own as I am talking. Um, okay, but let's get to my notes really quick. So if you guys don't know me, we have had so many people joining. My name is Sarah Anderson. I have been with the company since day one, almost five years. And we, um, if you are on this team call, you are somewhere in my downline. You've probably gotten some sort of welcome thing from me or something from me in your email. If not, it's coming. Um, but we are so excited that you are here. We have an incredible team with a ton of resources and a ton, a ton of people and leaders who are willing to help train so that we can all get where we want to go. Um, first and foremost, as we kind of talk about what's coming up for 2022, I promise you that I feel like it's going to be our strongest year for growth. 2020 was a huge year for growth. I feel like that 2022 is going to be a, a year for growth and structure, right? Not just like explosion. So many people are joining, but we're actually going to be able to build structure and build with goals. And so I'm really, really excited for what's to come. I feel like it will be a year like we've never seen, but I also want to challenge you guys that if you are not I, the first year in Zaya, we went to summit and it was in October. So like seven months into the company. And I remember um, Jeremiah, he said something and I was like, oh my gosh, that's like the most cheesy thing I've ever heard, but I love it so much. And it was, you know, Zaya is a rising tide. And if, um, so get your boat in the water, right? A rising tide lifts all boats. It lifts all ships, but you have to have your boat in the water. We will experience massive growth in 2022. All of our numbers are predicting it. And so I challenge you to get your freaking boat in the water. What is it right now that is keeping you from having your boat in the water? What is it your own self and like worrying what other people are going to think of you? Is it the nose that you've gotten? Is that you don't know what to say? I challenge you to challenge yourself that you do know. What if you did know exactly what you needed to do to build this business? Exactly what you needed to do. And even if it's just that next step. So get your freaking boat in the water because it's going to be huge and you're going to have all of the resources and all of the support that you need. And you will see that show up as you take those steps. So as we head into um, this call, we are going to be talking a little bit about the promo. The company just threw out a promo for, we are going to the Dominican Republic Punta Cana and you get to earn it by rank advancing and hosting parties. They have never done trip, uh, trip promotion like this. It's always been um, recruiting based in there as well. And I can promise you that every single person on this call in this team can earn this trip. It's going to take dedication. It's going to take plan. It's going to be riding out from where you're at and it's going to take getting out of your comfort zone, but you can 100% do it. I promise you, you don't want July to come or March to end and you realize, crap, I didn't actually do the work that I needed to do. I was just kind of busy thinking about it. Um, do the work, like put the actions out there and you guys are going to be amazed that you can earn this. Um, so let's see. What I love so much is that they're focusing on parties. You guys already know parties are the lifeblood of this business. And we say that until we're blue in the face. And that is because it's true. Why? Because parties are trifold, right? They are not just parties and they're not just for sales, though they do bring volume. But parties are a cold market brand awareness strategy. That means if you are not into sending messages and knowing how to connect with people outside of your friends and family, newsflash, we're not meant to build our businesses within our friends and family. We're meant to build outside of our friends and family. That's a point of this business. That's how you make this big. Um, but it is a cold market strategy. That is how you get your brand and your business in front of people that you may not ever have met otherwise. Um, and also it is a huge recruiting tool. 
So though this promo is party focused, that does not take out recruiting out of the situation. Parties are for recruiting too. It is how you show people exactly what it is that you do as a rep. And then you are inviting throughout the party and inviting your hostess. There's so many people that will join you as you are hosting these parties too. It's not an either or thing. Parties kind of encompass it all as long as you are showing up in those ways as well. So um, I will say that as we are, party focused a lot will be a huge chunk of your ring or of your promo points rank advancement will be another huge chunk plan right now where you are at compared to your next rank and what you need um, if you are going to rank advance you need to recruit so it's not just about hosting parties and selling like tens of thousands of dollars it is about inviting others to do this business with you if you are going to rank advance you will need to recruit um, so also going on that. So the other thing that I love so much, you guys, is that brand new reps could kill this promo. They could earn this promo in their first six weeks of business. That is not just me saying that. It is doing exactly what it is we teach them to do when we launch a rep. And that is now they have a chance to earn this. So as you are promoting this, promote the business and that, that you want to help them earn this trip because this is huge for you and your new reps and your team. Okay, first of all, this call, I want it to be interactive. I would love so much as we kind of talk about different ways to host a parties, or I mean, different ways to fill up your calendar and also um, tips for hosting successful parties. I want this to be interactive. Please put it in the chat. We want to hear from you guys. There is not just five ways to book up your calendar. There's a hundred ways. There's different things that you could be doing. So please put them in the chat and we'll kind of talk about them as well. Um, because we want to hear from you and we may even have somebody on mute, but if that scares you, we won't have you do that. Um, but our goal today is to help give you guys ideas on how to fill up your calendar so that you can earn this promo, obviously, and to make sure and do go back and do checks and balances and have that focus right now on filling up your calendar. And then also um, to find success in hosting those parties. We want you to get the thousand and the $2,000 um, or the thousand or the third and fourth tier. I know it's a little bit different in Canada so that you can earn those as many points as possible. So first of all, mindset. Mindset is going to be so huge heading into this. I know, I want you to know that our January parties do incredibly well. You can look at this two different ways. You can go into this trying to book parties thinking nobody has money. Everyone just spent it on Christmas. Nobody's going to want to host, blah, blah, blah. You guys, that is the, could not be further from the truth. Okay. If that's what you're looking for, that's what you're going to find. But I will say if you're going into January, which is what we have found um, year after year is that people have money to spend that they got from Christmas. People are starting their fitness goals and their new year's goals, whether they are fitness related or something else related. Um, they are ready for comfy, cozy clothes when in, in the cold months of January. Um, so new year, new gear, people are ready to spend money and like start going on their fitness goals and getting new active wear, which we all know makes a huge difference and helps people stay motivated. So um, start, I challenge you to start marketing your January parties right now. New year, new gear, like come up with different themes that are super, super fun and draw attention rather than just hosting a party, a girl's shopping event, whatever it looks like. Um, my notes are covering the notes or the things right now. So I will check the chat, <laughs> but um, anyway, make it a theme and go into it with that mindset that people want to host, they do. January, February, March, and April are massive months. So filling up your calendar with the people that are ready is huge, okay? So first we challenge you right now, tonight, to go through your order history. Corporate just had a massive November hosting promo. It set us up for success for this. Some of our packages were delivered way late. I challenge you to go in and respond or and follow up with every single customer that you have had. If you have not already, go and follow up with them. Um, but go and make a list of every single customer. I believe you can even print out your order history. And then you can go through and highlight and make sure that you followed up with them and ask every single one of them to host here in January. They just had an amazing party event with you in November, make December, whatever. And now you're going to ask them to book in January. So, and then it's also super good customer service just to go and check in because we did have some late packages arriving. Just make sure and have that good customer service. That is, those are the little seeds that you are dropping for everyone. So, um, so make sure you follow it up with your customers from November. 
promo and invite every single customer to book a party in January, every single one. So you're going to go even some from people that weren't even November, I'm pulling up my entire order history and going back in and checking in with all of my customers. Okay, there's going to be some that ordered in April, and I'm going to ask them again, hey, I'm doing a new year. I'm going to just stick to the new year, new gear, right? Because nothing else is coming to my brain for a second, but we'll come up with other ideas. Um, hey, I'm doing a new year, new gear, helping people get new gear for their um, new year's resolutions. Are you in? I have these few dates available. Okay, there's so many different ways you can check back in to your previous um customers. So another way that you like scripts, we also, I'm going to, after this call, I have a whole document of ideas of things that you could say to people for helping on following up. But um, another way to follow up is to say, Hey, I saw you received your new, I, I saw you received your new leggings. I wanted to check in and make sure you love them. How does everything fit? Well, that's one way that you can follow up when they say, Oh my gosh, I love them. Then you could say, great. I'm so glad. Would you be interested in hosting a Zaya party and earning free and discounted off or free and half off Zaya? It is that simple, right? Perfect. When they say yes, perfect below here are my dates or maybe not right now. Awesome. Can I follow back up with you in about three weeks? It's so simple. Or when would be a best, better time for me to follow up with you? So it's just about asking. I will say that you will book 90% of your parties are going to come from personal reach outs. I might even say 97% of your parties are going to come from personal reach outs, whether they're following up or you're, and Megan's gonna talk here in a second about personally inviting people that maybe aren't your customers as well. So another way um, to, or another way to get your calendar booked up is inviting past hosts. So if you've been in this for a while, even if it's just six months ago, we get new stuff all the time. That's the bonus of Zaya. We are constantly getting new people into, uh, or new people, new products into our shops that people six months ago didn't have the option to buy. And now they have the option to buy. So it's like, hey, Britt, have you seen all the new Zaya in my shop? I know your friends will love it. Are you ready to host another party and earn more good and earn more goodies? It's as simple as that and getting your hostesses. I feel like repeat hostesses are the best thing ever because their friends already know what's going on. They know how it runs. Their excitement is there. They already love their stuff and they're just getting back together. So that's another way. The other, another way is going live on your social media, whether it's through your VIP page. I actually sent an, a message to every single person in my VIP page. Sorry, if you're a rep in there, you got the message too. I don't, I did not discriminate. I was sending it to everyone. Um, but going live on social media, sending personal messages to those in your VIP pages. I'm talking on Instagram lives, not just in your VIP page, um, to reach out to other people, doing stories, showing host first what you would pay for the certain same amount of items with a host first retail. Um, also putting your dates. I love this. I think Elisa Enns just did it on Shop Zaya um, where you put your dates available and then as they're gone, you cross them off and people start filling the FOMO. Um, and then we also, I want you to know it is available to you to incentivize a party. We cannot incentivize a host sign up, but if you are like, hey, if you're gonna host in January, I'm giving away a free bomber bra if you hit the $600 tier, whatever it looks like to you, that is not necessary. But if that's what you want to do, that is not against the rules. Um, it's totally up to you and your, your marketing to your customers. So whatever it is that you want to do on that. Um, and then I, oh, the other thing too, well, Megan, I'll probably actually talk about this, but as you're posting, um, also screenshotting who likes all your posts and who watches your stories and then going in back and talking to them and inviting them later. So I'm going to turn it over to Megan Walker. You want to just unmute yourself, Megs, and then um, she's going to kind of talk about cold reach outs, reaching out to people and asking them to host if they are not your customer already. Okay, thanks, Sarah. That was awesome. Um, so one of the number one things that I have heard from my reps and honestly for myself as I began this journey was I have asked every single human to host. There is no one else. So first of all, that's a lie. Well, maybe, I don't know, at least it's a thought in your head that you are believing that is true, but it is not true. And as long as you believe that lie, you won't be taking the action to find those other people. You guys, we are a network marketing business. We have access to the freaking world. Okay. And I know we're only open in Canada and Australia. I mean, the US, Australia soon, I hope. But you can even get, you can ship things to like APO 
post offices in other countries. So even outside of that. So what are ways that you can find those people that I'm talking about? Um, first of all, the 75 Grow Challenge, you guys. If you have not jumped on that ship, it's not too late um, to start doing those things. The 10 connections, if you are doing those consistently, whether it is three times a week or five times a week, your funnel will grow with new people that are outside of your current network or funnel of people to invite. Um, how do you do that? So we've talked about this before. It's on our buckets. It's the 10 by 10 by 10. Okay, so searching people via hashtags. Keeping it simple. I mean, active or addict. Leggings are life. Active or obsessed. Mom fit. I mean, those are just a few ideas. But searching those hashtags, creating those connections, and then um, sending them something as simple as this. And you guys, I these scripts that I'm sharing with you, they came from the newsletter this week. So find the newsletter. There's like so many freaking scripts in there that you can use as a basis to start just sending the messages. Because if you're not sending the messages, it's a no anyway. So why are you afraid of getting the no? Because you're already accepting the no by not even sending the message. So say you see someone that loves activewear. Hey, Ava, I've been following you. Your daughter, that's why you pay the, I've been following you for a while now and I love your page. I'm reaching out because I noticed you love active work. Me too, girl, me too. I work with a company called Zaya Active. Would you be interested in hosting a Zaya event for your friends and family online and earn free Zaya? It's super easy to do. Can I send some information? Okay, hold on a minute. Sorry, Gavin went hunting tonight, last minute. So here I am. Um. So there's a way. So finding new people that way, doing those 10 connections, it's going to feel awkward at first, you guys, the 10 connections where you're searching and finding and doing the three, two, one, but it's never going to feel more natural. And then as you start doing it and doing it consistently. So start connecting with those people, keep track of those people that you are connecting with, whether that be on a piece of paper, whether that be on the notes on your phone, whether that be on a Google Sheets. I will share with you guys when Sarah posts this recording to the team page, just a really simple Google Sheet tracker that I recently created and shared with my team that we're using just simply to track the 75 Grow. Okay, um, so there's a way. People that you've never even met with, people that are just wearing active work, okay? Inviting them to host a party to get it for free. Simple, simple, simple. And then, um, Sarah already talked about the customers and about searching all the way to the, the very beginning. Do that, do that. You will find so many holes in people that you have forgotten about by doing that. And then just add them to a list. I'm not, I think sometimes like we get stuck because we get overwhelmed, but just do these things for 10 minutes where you're creating this long list of people, past customers, hashtag people you're connecting with, whatever. And then put five of those people each day for a week and then invite five people each day. You don't have to do it all today, but take that 10 minutes of intentional time where you're building that list and then put it out in the five days throughout the week. So you don't feel overwhelmed and you don't lose the efforts you made by creating that list. Um, so another, another pe other people that I always, always follow up with, she's kind of already talked about parties, but I will always invite party guests whether or not they purchased. So yes, you follow up with the customers and yes, you, you know, do that whole thing where you make sure they love it and then invite them to host, but also go through the guests from your past parties. Even if you haven't like deleted your parties, do that now. Go to past parties throughout the last however long you've been a rep and find members in there. And if there's anyone that was engaged or anyone at all that you made some type of connection with, invite them. But in a current party, I will always go find those members um, and I will offer them to do a party for them. Like I understand it's not always in the books for people to purchase things right now, but I love getting stuff for people for free. Let me know I have a dates available this day and this day, which one works best for you. Assume a yes when you're asking, like just give them the dates and just, you know, assume a yes. Don't be like, do you want me to send the dates over? It'd be fun. Like. Like just be confident and excited in your invites as well. Okay. And then um, 
Sarah already said this, but the other thing I was going to talk about is going through people that liked or commented on posts. Go through recent posts, go through posts before Zaya. It doesn't even have to be posts that are right now, but just go through those things. And that's what something that I will do when I'm like, I don't know, in the, in like the drive through or like waiting for kids. That's like an income producing activity that you can do without much effort or thought is going through your story, screenshotting those people and just circling the people that you want to add to your connection or invite list, and then put that into your scheduled week work. And you know, whatever that is for you, if you're doing five connections a day and two invites a day, that's fine. Just separate it in to your plan, to your calendar, however it is that you schedule your work. Um, and then going through contacts on your phone, okay? Go through friends on your Facebook, get rid of friends that you don't want anymore, but start creating those connections even with your current friends. So that 10 by 10 by 10 thing we talk about doing for new hashtags, I've started doing that with my current following, with my current group of friends and creating those connections with them, reigniting that connection and then inviting them. Because why not utilize the people that we already have within our circle and reignite those connections and then invite. So you can use that same 10 by 10 principle, but you're just finding 10 new old friends. So you're going through your friends list, going through your followers list. Um, and then I thought that Lindsay had done something on 75 Borough. I couldn't find it, but she shared this with me. It like changed my life. Um, you can create kind of collections on your Instagram. So it's a way for me when maybe my mentally, I can't like take active action, but it's a way for me to make my scrolling even intentional. So if you go to your homepage on Instagram, top right corner, there's that little three lines. I call it a hamburger. People usually don't know what I'm talking about when I say that. Um, and then you go to saved. Okay. And as you can see, I already have all these different things. I use this for reels. So if I find a reel that I want to recreate, I have like reels, mom life, reels, anxiety, reels, hubs, funny, reels, biz. And so I add those reels to those collections. But as far as people, when I'm searching hashtags and I'm just wanting to build my collections list that I'm then going to go invite, I have a US biz need to invite, US host need to invite, Canada hosts need to invite, Canada biz need to invite, and now Australia biz need to invite. And then when I go and do that inviting, so I can just keep track of it on here, I also have a collection called US biz invited. So the moment I go and invite that person, and you can see I have this whole list here, right? You can pull up the post, go to their page, connect with them again if you want, send the invite through the message, and all you do is you unsave it. So you unsave this right here, okay? So remove from collection, and then you can resave it, and it'll ask where are you saving it to, and then I would save it to biz invited. So then I know I've invited that person, and I'm keeping track of it. Here, just sit here with me for a minute. Okay, hold on just a minute, okay? Okay, I will get you some. I'll get you some in a minute. Can you hold on? Okay. Anyway, so there is another way just to keep track a simple way so that when you are out and about and all you have with you is your phone, you can then go in and do some in, intentional connecting or intentional inviting. Um, and you're going to keep track of it in that way. And then you'll know if you need to go follow up with those people as well. Another thing that I've used to go find more. Okay more people to invite is going through your messenger inbox. Like just scrolling down and be like, okay, is are there people that I dropped the ball on? Are there people that they wanted me to follow up or whatever? Just like going through and reminding yourself of people that you've already had these conversations with and adding those, those people to your list. Um, other things that you can ask yourself, like, do you go to church somewhere? Do you go to kids? Like, do your kids go to dance or karate? Are you friends with not if them? If not, make friends with them which is not totally not my thing typically, but this business really is about getting outside of our comfort zone. We have people everywhere that we can connect with and build those relationships with. Um, do you go to group fitness? Like, I mean, get your freaking yearbook out. I don't know if you still have that, like go get your yearbook and then go find them on Facebook and start connecting with them. Um, do you have coworkers? Like, are you wearing Zaya daily? 
And when people ask you where you got your outfit, are you sharing it with them? Like you would share with them your favorite product from Amazon, or are you just pretending you don't know where it came from? So, I mean, just take advantage of those times. I am guilty of pretending I didn't know where it came from. I understand it feels awkward, but unless it doesn't, like we just get to view how we like shift, how we view it. Cause it really, like, if it was like a freaking crock pot from Amazon, I would tell them exactly where I got and how much it was, but just because I benefit from it, we get in our heads. So stop it. Um, and then do you have family members? We've talked about our dirt list before you guys like cousins, aunts, grandmas, like freaking grandmas love everywhere pants. So whoever you can think of, like, you know, more people than you are allowing yourself to believe. And chances are when you did your launch party, you were a little bit more nervous about inviting. So go back and do that 50 and five, like where it reminds you of people that you know, and you may be more willing to invite people that maybe you weren't before. Cause chances are you have grown from that time. So, um, and then we did that. Okay. That's really all. Do you guys have questions? Like frick, if you can't get a list from that, I don't know. <laughs> like, There are so many places that we can start going through. It's just about us taking that time to intentionally write that list down and then freaking inviting because that's where we get held up most of the time. And so if it works for you to like connect, invite, connect, invite, do that, or if building that list, you get more in that list. And then all of a sudden you're like, I Missy was actually talking to me about it today. I just need to have a list so I can just like copy paste. Cause then you only have to be brave for like two seconds when you push send, right? It's just us overthinking what it is that we're saying. Keep it simple. You can't say the wrong thing to write the right person. And really you guys, it's just about planting seeds. And if they say no, get curious, get on the voice message with them. Be like, I know I freaking hate parties. Like, honestly, when people invite me, I still don't like doing them, but I love Zaya parties because people are actually buying this product. But people ask me, ask me about Pampered Chef. I'm like, oh crap. Like I hate cooking, but okay. Do you know what I mean? Like we have a product that people are buying anyway. So these parties are fun and you know that and just say, I'm not going to be weird. Just anyway, just send the invite. Okay. That's it. Okay, love that. Oh. Katie was asking if you could explain the 10 by 10 by 10. Yes. So the 10 by 10 by 10. So the first number is 10. And Sarah, you can tell me if this is wrong because I asked her like 12 times before I finally got it, I think. <laughs> so 10 hashtags. That can be one hashtag. It could be three different hashtags. It's really up to you. So I will search a hashtag. Typically, when that hashtag comes up, it will bring somebody that has like 100 million followers. So I don't typically connect with that person, but I will find a post of theirs. I will look at the people that commented or liked on their post. I tend to veer towards people that have that circle around their head showing that they are on their stories so that one of my connections or my reach outs or engagements with them can be in their stories because that's guaranteed that they will see it when you interact with their story. So you find 10 different people that way. You connect with those 10 people. It says like 10 comments. I do like a three, two, one. So I will like three different pictures and it won't be the first they all like scroll down, like three different pictures, put two comments on their pictures, some type of meaningful comment, like either answering a question, just a comment that they can tell you actually read whatever they wrote. Okay. And then one interaction with their stories with Australians. I have gone the cold reach out method and I just invite them right away. With US and Canadians, I do tend to build that connection first and then invite them eventually down the road. And then the last 10 is responding or replying to um, the, pre like the previous days or whatever people that commented or replied to your comment. I then add those people to a connections list. Those are the people I'm going to focus on because they actually engaged with me. I also use that time to go reply and comment to anyone that re like commented on my post I made or polls on my stories. I really just use that last 10 part to just reply to any of any type of conversation that happened the previous 24 hours. Does that make sense? Yeah, so helpful. Okay. 
yeah, stop being weird about selling. <laughs> that is Kristen Boss's thing. Okay, um, you're not on Instagram, that is okay. You can do the same thing on Facebook. There, you stick to whatever platform you are already strong in. Don't flip flop, just pick one and master that. And then if you feel like joining in on the other one, but stay on Facebook, you can totally do that on Facebook too. Um, okay, so love Facebook, that. I feel like just go to your, go to your friends list and then do that with your current friends. You could also do it with their friends because you can see their friends, right? Or searching groups that you have something in common with and doing the same thing within those groups. So yeah, you can totally apply it on Facebook as well. Yes, perfect. Okay, love that. And keep things coming through. Love Facebook for finding groups. I'm in hiking groups or workout groups. Search your interests and find groups to join. Seriously, there's so many people to network with. I think a lot of times we're like, everybody said no, like Megan said, and really there's so many people out there. And I think just going out and co asking confidently to people when you're following up with parties, that is how Carly Brown is like our follow-up queen. She is our party queen. I know Andy Woodmancy as well. And just straight up asking people and making sure you get in their inboxes and saying, you like, let's just host a party and get you free and discounted clothing. Like, <laughs> hello, like that's a no brainer, right? Okay. The next thing we're going to talk about really quick is some pointers for having successful parties. What I want you guys to also understand is these are some tips. There is not just like, okay, this checklist that you have to do. I truly believe that parties are successful with communication and energy. I really do. I think that those are the two things that you need to have in a party, but I am going to give you some ideas of things that you can kind of go, oh, okay. Like some of them are going to be very simple. I mean, most of them are simple. That's the business that we're in. Um, but just to kind of, you know, if you want to check in and see what you're doing on there, obviously number one, coach your host, your host needs to know what's to what they, that you expect of them. Okay. You need to set them up for success by know, them knowing exactly what you expect of them commenting, liking, tagging their friends, posting if they will. That is always super helpful. If they'll go live, that's huge. Just let them know that their energy in the party makes a massive difference in the swing of how many orders you're gonna get. So um, their excitement is crucial. So, so coaching your host, making sure to send wel a, a welcome message to your guests, letting them know you're their personal shopper. They're not gonna see it if you're not friends with them. I personally friend people, that doesn't mean that you have to, um, but I personally friend them and then I send them a message. And then in the party, I let them know, I've sent you all a message, would love to connect because right there I can ask them, what are you in the market for? And before the party even starts, I can link them to new I to ideas of products that I think that they will love. And then they're not just waiting in the party for something that might catch their eye, I'm sending it to them right away. Um, the other thing is being clear in your messaging. So as you are posting in the party, your customer or the people in the party need to know how to order, where to order, the sizing guides, all of that. Okay, so being very clear in your messaging. At the end of the day, they don't need to know all about the peak zipper. They don't need to know everything about all the fabric, but they need to know how to order, like um, the sizing and maybe like your top 10 favorites. Okay, so be clear. Posting outfits. I don't know if you guys can hear the wind outside, but we don't get a storm ever. And it is raging out there. I hope you can even hear. Um, okay, post outfits and best sellers. Do not post all the inventory. It can be super overwhelming. And I don't want to say they do not. These are just ideas. Posting outfits gives people ideas and can envision themselves in them rather than here's all, all the different colors in our copper charge tanks, all the different colors in our peak joggers. If you can pair those things, or if you could just post those as well as ideas. I always call it like Zaya in real life. And I'll post Zaya on real people outside of the models and the different ways that they've paired it with maybe things that they already have. Um, let's see, have the host and have the host post her favorites. There's engagement posts. Obviously, the more engagement the party gets, you want people to get there. And then one of my favorite engagement posts is asking them if they've tried Zaya before, their favorite activity. And what is the other, part? I can't remember what the other one is, but then I go on that post and I respond to them with a, an idea of something I think they would like. Oh my gosh, you love running. You're gonna love the light and tights and the all-star bra. And I will link them because then it gives more engagement to that post, but it also has other people clicking the links um, that are in the party. So they're like, oh my gosh, that's so adorable. So I'll just um, make sure and do that. 
high energy and doing a live, whether you do five mini lives or one long live, I don't think it matters, um, but just bring high energy, great customer service, making sure you're replying to every comment, sending links, not just saying the links at the top, the links at the top, and not just linking your website, send actual links to the products. You do that by going to your website, going to the product and then copying the URL at the top and then pasting it into the comment and it will link it directly there. Um, and then also with sizing help, the last couple ones are reminding them to order. Do you notice how I'm not telling you exactly how far apart to space, how many lives to do, when to go live, the best time to go live, because it just doesn't matter. It's all about energy and excitement and um, for me, customer service. And so um, going back to reminding them to order and setting your expectations, right? Reminding them it's last day to order. Have you seen anything? Can I send over some of my favorite recommendations? Um, talking about the rep and host opportunity in the page um, and to those who love the brand. If you see people who love the stuff, oh, I love that. Oh, I'm obsessed with Zaya. Oh, I want that. I want that. I want that. Invite them to rep invite them to host. I see you love this brand. Have you ever thought about doing what I do? I see you love this brand and there's so much that you want. You should host your own parties. You can get some for free and discounted. There are so many different conversations you can easily have if you're paying attention to who's commenting and who loves the stuff. Um, also posting thank yous in the feed gets people ideas that of what other people are ordering and then following up with every attendee to book a party. So um, hope that was kind of fast, but those are, I feel like are my top ones. Number one, coaching your hostess, setting clear in messaging, high energy, um, being really great in customer service by sending links and helping with sizing, thanking the orders in the feed, reminding them to order before it is over, and then following up with them and talking about the rep and host opportunity. So those are a few things. You guys can also add some to your comments here. You have a blizzard. <sighs> creates FOMO. Okay. Making sure I didn't miss anything. One thing I'll just thing quickly add, oh, go ahead. when we're doing these connections, inviting to host, I challenge you to start with inviting to rep and then you back up. It's harder for people to say no twice. <laughs> so start high. I mean, even with these new people that you're connecting with and creating these connections with, start with the rep opportunity and then back up to hosting. Yeah. Don't be afraid to do the rep opportunity. That is the life changer here for sure. Okay, the last thing are, how are you doing that for inviting to host a rep? Megan, do you wanna type that in there? Some ideas for inviting to rep. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna kind of do is do a team challenge because we all know we are ready for this team or this company promo. And that is we are going to be doing a fill up your calendar booking blitz. It is going to start today and it's going to run until Sunday night. Um, as if you, once you book four parties for January, February, or March, you are going to get your name entered for the prizes. Every party above four gets you another entry into the giveaway. So our goal is obviously four parties is like the four parties a month. That is like the, for growth, that's what we preach. Um, so that's kind of what we're going to do as a baseline. As soon as you book four, you are going to get your name entered. We're going to do drawings next week on the 20th. And I have that written down, but because next week is freaking Christmas, I know it's going to be like out of my brain. So I'm putting a reminder in my phone right now, um, but we're going to do a booking blitz. There's going to be prizes. And after this in the team page, I'm going to be posting. I'm also going to be sending an email um, that has verbiage that you guys can use so that you can book up your calendars. And we are not ones that are like script, like, Hey, Ava, you're going to see all of my kids' names in those, in those different um, <laughs> scripts, but, and probably all of my friends, but um, anyway, we're not ones for scripts. Okay. We are giving you ideas so that you can go and be a real life human to your people. So um, that's going to be on there. And there's also going to be a tracker that is in the post that I'm going to post as soon as this recording live, I'll put it with the recording and I'll also send out an email. So there's going to be a tracker for you to enter all of your parties. And then there's also going to be um, like script examples and all the information. So the booking blitz is going to end Sunday night at midnight mountain standard time um, Four parties get you entered for the giveaways. It's going to be awesome. And there's so much, you guys, there's so much to be excited about. Everyone comment if you are planning to earn or if you are earning, not even planning to earn, but if you are going to earn the Punta Cana trip, 
We want every single one of you there and every single one of your teams. And the way you're going to do that is by connecting with your teams, helping them make a plan, and also being in charge of yourself and making a plan for that. So um, I seriously cannot wait. I don't know if I've been this excited for a trip. I think I'm just so ready for a trip. Um, Zaya Tribe will be there. It's going to be awesome. Does anybody else have any questions that you could throw in the chat as well and we can answer those? Hey, Sarah, I have an idea that they could do outside of like your typical party that I have found success in. So if, and I think this works great as a filler for sure, book traditional parties. Um, but something that I found that works for me is getting brand affiliates or that's what I promoted at it's, is like a brand affiliate for the month. So I'll make a post saying I'm looking for five brand affiliates this month or three brand affiliates this month for the month of January and all month long, you get your own VIP link that you get to promote on your site. Um, and then obviously you just send them over a party link that they can use to promote. And all month long, whenever they are my brand affiliate, I let them use my rep discount of 25% off. Um, so it kind of gives them a glimpse into what it's like to be a rep. And so I have had some turnover from that um, because people have seen that the people that follow them or whatever like their product, they're buying from them, they're experiencing the discount. Um, so that's like another idea that you could just put out there in addition to asking for parties. Um, sometimes I've had brand affiliates that have sold nothing. And then sometimes I've had some that have sold $1,000, $2,000. Um, so there can be a lot of success in it or you can have ones that completely bomb. So just like any party, try to get like three to five. Um, and those can be fillers in addition to hosting a party. So that's just an idea. And one other yeah. idea uh, going along with that is a VIP link. So I have customers that keep coming back and they like don't want to host a party. They don't want to rep. So I offer them a VIP link for a certain length of time. I'll say like, you'll have it this month and the next month and whatever you get, you can close out type of thing. And so base essentially, usually they just like have their own purchases go through there. They're giving a deadline being like, you have these next two months and it encourages them to purchase. I typically will send them new releases um, when they happen and say, Hey, just let me know if you want to grab anything to put into your VIP link. And then I also let them know you can share this with friends and family. And so I'll usually pick two or three of those a month. Sorry. Let me turn that off. Yeah, all really good ideas. If you think that somebody will host a real party, I would ask them to do that first before offering the brand, only because I've had somebody want to host a party. I gave her a brand thing and then it did nothing where I feel like if I was more involved, I could have definitely driven home more sales. But the brand affiliate thing I think does really, really well too. So I would definitely, those are ideas. Also, we're going to link a couple sent share files for um, my three day party that I do, three to four day party and also the one day party. So um, that'll all be in the group or in the Facebook post, whatever it's called and the email. And then also I'm gonna add Elisa's idea for the brand affiliate because I think that that will be huge too. So anybody else have any other questions or comments or ideas? Like we said, there's no wrong way to do a party. If you want to do one hour parties, do one hour parties. If you want to do one day parties, three day parties, whatever it is, a brand affiliate, just get them done. In home parties sell way more than any online party. Just so we know, if you want to do that, um, you will love it. I think they just offer them, they get the discount or they get the free and discounted clothing. So there's no discount, nothing. They get free and discounted clothing. Uh, no idea either, Rhonda, that sucks. Is Sinshare worth it? I think it's worth it 100%, 9.99, and then Zaya team gives you two months free. So I would try it. Yeah, create videos and share them. Okay, all right, you guys, that's it. I am going to um, share the wealth. Oh, that's a cute idea. That's a really cute idea. Okay, I'm gonna go. go ahead. Oh, we need a picture. Yeah, hang on. We're gonna do a picture, I almost forgot. I even made Liv bring me back my phone so that I could get a picture. Okay, ready? I'm gonna take a couple because we have a couple pages. So just keep smiling because you don't know where you are. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Last one. All right. Okay, thanks you guys. This should be up tonight and then I'll get all that information out. I'm also gonna send it through email so you'll be able to see it there too. Okay, have a good night. See you later.